so hello and welcome to lesson six of our study in topology one so in this video we'll be going through interior exterior and boundary of topological spaces okay so <coughs> we'll be talking about these three concepts okay so in our previous video we talked about limit points or accumulation points or cluster points and we also talked about the closure so let's start off with the first concept that is interior so we take some definition here so it says let e be a subset of a topological space x the interior of a denoted by what we can see here or this is the union of all open sets contained in a so is the union of all open sets contained in a So that is the definition, okay? Don't worry, as we solve examples, you understand it better. So, a point to note. Remember that the closure of A, denoted by this or that, is the intersection of all closed sets containing A. From our previous video, you should know this. Alright, so clearly, the interior of A is open. And a subset of A. And a closure of A is closed and contains A. So from the statement I've read, it means this holds. Thus, the interior of A is a subset of A, and A itself is a subset of the closure of A. Okay. So Let's take the definition for the exterior. So the exterior of A, denoted by this, is given as the interior of the complement of A. That is, the exterior of A is equal to the interior of A complement. Okay, so that means that before you can find for the exterior, you always have to know how to find for the interior. Okay, because we just have to find the complement of A. And we find the interior of that. So now, let's talk about the boundary. So don't worry, we are discussing the three concepts. After that, we will solve an example on all of them, and the understanding will be better. Okay. So the definition for the boundary is very simple. It says the boundary of A is the set of all points that do not belong to the interior or the exterior of A. Okay. So, it doesn't belong to either the interior or the exterior, then it becomes a boundary, okay? So, let's take an example. We have our full set X to be given, that's the set A, B, C, D, E. And we have um, our topology defined on it to be given by what we can see here. Then we have a subset of X, A, to be given by what we have here. So they said B, C, D, right? So we have to find the interior of A, the exterior of A, and the boundary of A. We are going to use the definitions we've discussed to solve this. And you realize it's not difficult, okay? So please pay attention as we solve the question so solution we have to find the interior of a so recall that in our question it was given by this okay so we have to check for b c and d and find out which of them will be the interior of a then we have to check for each of 
the elements in the subset A. Okay, so we'll check for B and C if it's um, an interior. Then we'll check for C and see if it's an interior. Then we'll also check for D. Okay, so let's check for B. So the first thing we have to ask ourselves is that from the topology defined on X, right? So there is it. This is the topology defined on X. What are the open sets containing B? And you could see we only have two of them. That's the set X itself and this one, okay? So the open sets that contain B are this and X, all right? Then after that, we ask ourselves, those open sets, is any of them a subset of A? Is any of them a subset of A? Or is any of them contained in A? So you could see that when we take um, B, C, D, E, it's not a subset of what? A. The same when we take S. S is not a subset of what? A. So it means that B is not interior of A. Okay. So let me read the definition, um, the explanation I gave here for you. The open sets that contain B are this and X. The next question is to ask if those open um, sets which contain B is a subset of A or it's containing A. If yes, then B is an interior of A. If no, then B is not an interior of A. So if one of them, okay, contain B and was also a subset of A, then that means that B would have been an interior of A. But since that condition is not met, then B is not an interior of A. So that's what it implies. Then I will go to the point C. So that means we have to list all the open sets containing C, okay? So these are the open sets containing C. Alright, so we ask ourselves that these open sets, do we have even just one um, which contains C and it's also a subset of A? If it is yes, then that means that C will be an interior of A. So we can see that here we have this here this set cd so we can see that cd contains the set cd contains c and also the set cd is a subset of a because a is b c d all right so we can see that cd is contained in a so it means that c is an interior of a then we have to check for the last element d so for D, we list all the open sets containing D, which are what we can see here. Then we ask ourselves. So we ask ourselves this question. Um, do we have any of them? Okay. Which is a subset of A? And the answer is yes. So when you take the set C, D here, we can see that it contains D and it is also a subset of A, right? So it means that D is interior of A. So you could see that when we check for the element B, C, D, realize that B wasn't an interior of A, but C was and D was, right? So hence the interior of A is the set C, D, okay? So this is how we find for the interior. Then now let's go to the exterior. So note that the exterior of A is given by the interior of A complement, right? So that means we have to find the complement of A. So A is given by B, C, D from the question. So to find the complement of A, it is simply 
a minus the full set x right so x minus a you take a from the full set x so x minus a so we can see that this is the full set and this is our a so when we take the a from the x you are going to get a e so that means this happens to be the complement of a so the exterior of a will now be called the integral of what a complement which is given as a e right so that means we have to check for a e and e and find out which of them is interior of a e complement so when you check for a that means you have to get all the pin sets containing a and they are these so we can see that we have one of them which is this which contains a right and it is also a subset of what a e so a is a subset of what a e it means that a is an interior of what a complement then we go to e so you realize that all open sets containing e are x and b c d and we can see that none of them is a subset of what um a e right so none of them is a subset of a e Hence, E is not interior of A complement. So, it means that the exterior of A, which is equal to the interior of A complement, is the set A. Okay. Um. So, I hope you understand. Alright, then the last question was, you find the boundary of A. So, the boundary of A are the elements in X right which are in neither interior or exterior so we can see that s was given us this and like when we found the interior of a we had this and the exterior of a give us this okay so when you take your set x you could see that the only thing the only element in that which is neither interior or exterior is b e Right, because when you take the A, B, C, D, E, this is exterior, this is interior, this is interior, it's only B and E, which are neither exterior or interior. So that means that the boundary of A is given us the sets B, E, okay. So that's how to find the interior, the exterior, and the boundary of E, which happens to be a subset of X, okay. So... Um, thank you very much. Please don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to the channel. So thank you. I'm Boido Kanrindo, a final year student of mathematics at KNUST. All the best. Yeah.